Welcome to our product features demo. In today's video, we will cover the status workflow feature. The video will explain the predefined workflows already available for you to start with, how to create a new workflow of your own, how to use a workflow in your chosen project, quick tips and tricks, and the status workflow benefits. Let's get started. Once you are on the status workflow page, you will see the six predefined workflows. Default status, bug tracking, content management, task tracking, recruitment, and procurement workflow. Each of these workflows have a predefined set of custom status to help you get started quickly. As you can see, the recruitment has 13, procurement has 9, bug tracking and content management have 8 each. Click on the workflow to see the details of the status associated with each one of them. Let us just create a project using the bug tracking workflow to show the board would look. Click on create a bug tracking project and you will see the create project pop-up form with the choose a workflow field already updated with the bug tracking workflow. Just fill in the essential project creation information and click on create. Let us go to the Kanban view of this newly created project and see the various status columns to get an idea of how our project would flow. Now, let us get back to the status workflow to create one of our own. Head over to the status workflow page and click on create new status workflow. You will be first asked to enter a name and description for this workflow. Once done, scroll to the bottom of the workflow listing table and click on the workflow you just created. On the detail page of your workflow, you will see three predefined status, new, in progress, and closed. You can start either by editing the existing status and adding more status of your own right away. Click on the edit icon at the far right of each status you see. In the resulting pop-up you can change the status name, associate a progress percentage with this status and choose a color code of your choice. Note, by associating a percentage, you indicate the expected progress of the task, when it is in a particular status. Also, when you update the status for a task, the progress gets automatically updated. After editing the existing status, you can add more status of your own by clicking on Create New Status. Let us add a couple of status here for better clarity. Key point to note here is, except the first status, you should always choose the status type as in progress. And choose the status type as closed when you set the last status of the flow. So, now you are done with your own workflow and ready to link it to a project just as we showed at the beginning of this video. Also, Whenever you click on Create Project, you will see the workflows you created in the Workflow drop-down on the Create Project form. So, the benefits of using workflows are manifold. You define a set sequence or flow of your tasks. There is clarity around the overall task lifecycle. Teams know the importance of specific status and what work those statuses entail. Task execution is robust and smooth with no confusion. Most importantly, teams do not overlook steps and errors are minimized. Now get going with your status workflows. Create as many as you need and strengthen your task execution. Contact us at support at orangescrim.com for more info. Thank you for watching.